fasted. Most merciful, Heavenly Father, I come before you humbly, Lord, and I beg and I plead, Lord. Please, Lord, please give me the courage, the will, the words, the wisdom to speak. And Lord, may they be your words. May they be your words, Lord. I pray all this in Jesus' mighty, mighty name. Amen. I am just the dust of the earth. And no one is beneath me. And the only thing... The only thing that's special about me is that I am forgiven. And I am God's dirt. I kind of have a title for this video. Some I don't. Some I do. There are those that say prove God is alive. Prove there is a God. But don't use the Bible. And a lot of people will point to nature point to babies and point to a flower and but God sometimes God leaves his fingerprints he leaves his fingerprints on the earth for his work that he did for what he's done on this earth and I want to point out some of those fingerprints now I know this first item that I want to show you is not really a proof but to me it is. What I have here is a stone. A very special stone. This stone, it was, it was picked up by a minister in the Garden of the Gethsemane in Israel many years ago. And the tour guides, they warned everybody, do not pick up anything off the ground. Do not pick up anything. If you're going to buy souvenirs, buy them at a souvenir shop. But they wouldn't let people pick up any souvenirs, especially stones. But the pastor said he couldn't, he couldn't, he, he, he couldn't help himself. And when the tour guides, when they weren't watching, he picked up this, this stone from the Garden of Gethsemane. This very stone, this very stone was in the Garden of Gethsemane when Jesus walked in the Garden of Gethsemane. And he knelt and he prayed in the Garden of Gethsemane. He, this stone was a witness to Jesus praying in the Garden of Gethsemane. So this, this stone was a gift to me. It was a gift to Mike. And Mike and Gail, they give it to me. And this, this stone is very precious to me. And I'm going to put a little display and, and display it in a, in a case. But this stone is very special. I mean, thank you, Mike and Gail. I will treasure this and I will treasure your friendship as well now there are there are some proofs other proofs this it's a chariot wheel assembly it was found along with many others in the bottom of the Red Sea, right where Moses and the Jews crossed on dry land because God, God parted the Red Sea. And here's another view. I don't know if you can see it, but hope, hopefully you can. That's was left over 3,500 years ago when Moses crossed the Red Sea because God parted the waters. But then the Egyptians, they gave chase. They went down into the midst of the parted waters and they, they gave chase to the Jews. But then God had caused the waters to crash down upon them, destroying them all. So that's, that's some of the remnants. That's a fingerprint of God. Also, I want to show you this. It's a little tiny ball of pure sulfur. Nowhere on earth is the sulfur, this is also called brimstone, nowhere else on earth is this brimstone as pure as it is at Sodom and Gomorrah. 
there it is anywhere from 96 to 98 percent pure sulfur and even the trace elements are flammable magnesium is a trace element that's in this any other place on earth that brim that uh, sulfur is found volcanic vents and that kind of thing the sulfur is only 43 45 46 percent pure sulfur no place else no place else on earth is the brimstone as pure as it is at Sodom and Gomorrah I once read a figure that archaeologists studying the sites at Sodom and Gomorrah said that it would take the equivalent of 76 Hiroshima style nuclear weapons going off to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah the way it was destroyed with the intensity the sulfur is a fingerprint of God created by God for his purpose also the Jews the Jews themselves they are a fingerprint of God God made a promise to Abraham that his seed one day would be like the uh, sand on the beach would be like the grains of sand on the beach and they would be all throughout the world and that promise has come true another fingerprint of God God is with us he's been with us forever he created us he created this world he created everything for nothing nothing exists that God did not make and God leaves his fingerprints if we look they are there so I want you to consider that and also consider that you read your Bible what it tells you is truth truth and wisdom it gives you knowledge it also tells you how to save yourself how to save yourself and, and salvation how to receive salvation in these last days because like these signs now there's signs of our coming destruction and it's coming it's coming so Bobby and I we pray for you we pray that, that you get repent of sin that you humble yourself that you get on your knees and that you repent of sin and that you beg Jesus into your heart as your Lord and Savior. And we pray. We pray. And that you put put your place your sin under the blood of Jesus. We pray. We pray for all of you. And we know, we know, Satan has been attacking us. He's he's running to and fro in the on the earth, seeking whom he may devour, causing havoc everywhere. I know, and I know a lot of people are and pain and suffering and, and having issues, problems, health problems, that kind of thing. But we all, we all must stand strong, stand in the faith, and stand on the Word of God. His promises are true. And Jesus promised us that He would never leave us and that He would return for us and take us home. We have the promise of God. And he will take us out of here before it gets real bad before the tribulation starts and that doesn't mean that we won't see some calamities right now but we stand strong in the faith no matter what comes no matter what comes stand strong in the faith stand strong in the faith and Bobby and I we will see you on the streets of gold one day very soon tick tock tick tock rapture's getting so close so very close and we pray we pray that you're in the will and grace that you're washed in the blood and born again and we will meet you on the streets of gold one day very soon god bless you god keep you and yours safe in his very arms in his very arms just like he held me and that's that's why i do what i do because i desperately want to get back to that place I was before back in the arms of Jesus back 
in his arms, his loving arms, were, were, I looked into the eyes of Jesus and all I saw was love, unconditional, unfathomable love, a love beyond all understanding or comprehension. And that's why I want to go home to that love, that peace, that joy, indescribable joy. And Bobby and I, we pray that we meet you there. God bless you. God keep you in your safe is our prayer. And we love you all. We love you all so very much. You all, every one of you, has been a blessing to me and Bobby. And we thank you. God bless you. God keep you. Amen.